Hey folks, it's Jim. I'm going to do a quick video on my system, how I analyze it and all that stuff. This is Enphase Enlighten. Uh, this is for my solar system. Okay, let's look. Here's my solar panels all operating. Um, you notice this, this one's put out 886 watt hours. This one's only put out 642. This one's only put out 708. Now why are these putting out more than these? Because these face directly south for morning energy. So I, when I make my coffee, things like that. So they're beating the output of these panels for the day so far. But by the end of the day, these panels will catch up and surpass these because these are facing slightly southwest, which for my location in the world, that's the way I maximize my output. I also have them on single axis trackers. If you don't know what that is, it means I can change the angle of the panels depending on the season. When the season's low on the horizon, they're pretty much almost straight up and down because the sun tracks right above the tops of the trees. In the summer, the sun tracks almost directly overhead, so they're laid back like this, okay? That's single axis tracking. Dual axis is where we track this way as well as this way. So that's single axis and dual axis tracking. Okay, now let's get into uh, what's happening for today. If you look over here, You'll see that today I've put out 7.98 kilowatts so far of energy. My peak energy is 2.48 kilowatts, which was at 12.10. It's now 12.25. Okay, so almost 2.5 kilowatts is what's coming into my house right now from my panels at 240 AC synced with the grid. If the grid were to go down, these will automatically shut down so I don't have to worry about injuring alignment. So the system's ultra safe. It has its own built-in brain, right? Which most systems do today. It's just each one of my panels is converting 240 AC rather than sending DC on a long run to the house. I'm sending 240 AC to the house, which means I have less line losses, okay? Since I'm sending AC. AC is much easier to transmit over distance than DC, correct? That's another reason why I chose the system that I have. But you can see uh, over the past seven days, I'm at 81.5 kilowatts so far. I will be at 90 kilowatts by the end of the day for the week. You can see I have a really small system. I only have 11 panels. Okay, for the month so far, I've put out 205 kilowatts. And over the life of the system, which was only these two arrays, okay, I put out 17 megawatts already, and that's only five years, right? I think five years, yes. <coughs> this will be the sixth year when we get done with this year. Okay, so in five years I put out 17 megawatts. Now these three I just added in December of 18, which was just three months ago, right? So, and they were specifically for morning energy. I want early morning energy, especially in the winter, right? So I set these facing directly south, whereas these are facing southwest to maximize their output all year long. Especially in the summer when I get my highest output in Maine, I want these facing the best direction for summer pickup as well as I will do the single axis like this. The next three that I'm putting in, because I'm thinking of buying a plug-in car or an electric, a plug-in hybrid or an electric, probably a plug-in hybrid. So I like the idea of having a gas engine too. Um, these three will be on a dual axis tracker and we're going to run an experiment with that so you may find it interesting. I should have that project up and running by May or June. Um, I'll let you know. Um, I'm still uh, working out it. It's going to be a cheap dual axis tracker homemade. So, and it's not electronic, it's going to be manual. So, I'll let you in on that when I get to it. Okay, now let's get to uh, something else. Now, you'll be able to see, I've already, uh, by the end of the day, I'll have 90 kilowatts, right? But here's the interesting thing I have not even had a good week, and we're going to analyze from a different perspective here. Okay, now you're looking at algorithms for the day. Now if you notice, here was a good day, okay? Here was some clouds, right? You can see the choppiness. But look at this day, how chopped up that is. That's heavy cloud day. Look at this day, snow and rain, okay? We had three or four inches of snow and then rain. No sun on this day, but I still got some energy, didn't I? This was a particularly cloudy day after that day. This was a decent day, just clouds in the morning. And now today we've got a pretty clear sky again. So even though three days I've had a lot of clouds and rain and snow, 
I'm still getting 90 kilowatts this week. By the end of the week, that's what I'll be getting. So that's what I wanted to show you too about another way that I can analyze the system. There's so many reports I can run with this software. It's unbelievable. And I absolutely love it because I wanted to analyze solar as far as I could while I installed it on my place. So I really knew what solar can and cannot do, what it's capable of, what everything adds up to. Sun versus cloudy versus overcast versus snow versus rain versus, you know what I mean? I want to see everything and analyze the true capability of solar. And I'm capable of doing that with the system. That's why I went with it. But this is just an introductory video to today. I'm going to show you. Now let's see. Right now we have 8.19 kilowatts for our total today. Now we're going to refresh. And we're going to see what we've put out since we started this video. Okay, 8.4 now. So we just received all that energy and this is only up to 1225 and it's actually 1229 so that was five minutes of energy we got 200 watts okay you see what I mean so this system is cranking right now as you can see um, I can't use that much energy it's all going back to the grid and I have uh, net metering so I'm carbon neutral anyway it's uh, we'll get into that later um, but yeah I couldn't possibly use this much energy it's just ridiculous uh, two and a half kilowatts of energy I'm getting in. I would have to run the dryer and hope the water heater kicks in because I have a hybrid hot water heater too to consume that much energy and probably the fridge would need to kick on too um, in order for me to use what I'm putting out right now. So that's why I backfeed the grid too. I don't want any wasted energy. My batteries would fill up so fast in a few hours that um, it would be a waste of energy too. I'd have to have a dump load. <coughs> so, um, but that's pretty cool uh, if you can see it um, and I hope that you can so anyway I just wanted to do a short video let's get back to energy today whoops sorry and uh, those graphs are awesome it tells you what cloudy and rain and partially cloudy will do to your output which is really nice but let's get back to today see what we're doing and let's get back to view so we can see all the panels okay oh it's going back to Sorry, I need to set the panels and then go back to today. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so you can see these are still kicking the backsides out of these, but by the end of the day, I'll do another video at 5 or 6 o'clock, and you'll see that these will have caught up and passed these. So anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Hope this video was somewhat informative and interesting to you, but this is the software that I use to analyze my solar. I like details. I like to know as much as I can about everything that I do. I think that's my responsibility in life. Anyway, spirit, strength, and hope. Jim out.